Hello there, I'd just like to give a quick overview of this copy of Milestone X-Protect Basis that I've got for sale on eBay. Um, it's basically IP network video surveillance software. It allows you to manage various network cameras you might want to use for your security network. Um, I'm just going to start up the, um, the administration part. There we go. I've got two set up at the moment. It's actually in this copy says it's licensed for nine cameras, but because I can no longer get in touch with the company because I've forgotten all the passwords and the um, usernames and all that to get onto the onto the, the website, it's only ever going to be able to use three the three cameras we originally had set up on our system. Um, add device, self-explanatory, specify information, you can just add the IP address of your network camera in there. Port setup, don't know, well do know but not relevant. Input output setup, more port settings, uh, Scheduler. Stop event, start event. Half of this stuff I never actually use when we had it running. Email sent when motion is detected. PC audio notification when motion is detected. It's a very powerful system. We used probably used about 30% of it. All we had it doing was um, basically saving the information from the video cameras to network hard drives. Well, a lot of the numerous settings we never really used. Uh, general settings, you can make it password protected. User va users have access to the following functions. Oh, you can put more than one user on each camera so the cam people can log into the Linux web host on the cameras themselves. You can see all the settings there, so you can work that out for yourselves. Uh, log file path. Disable screen update, keyframe only decoding. Keep aspect ratio, don't send email on camera failures. Email settings. It's very powerful, you can get it to email you if it detects intruders, I suppose. Cancel, cancel. Archive setup. How it stores recordings over time I suppose. Enable archiving. There's the two cameras I've got set up already. Uh, daily archiving time. I guess that just means where it saves it to and how long it saves the recordings for. Import DLKs. That is That file there is on my computer you have to register each camera camera with Milestone on their website and they give you a file, this DLK file which you then import into the, the software and then you can then connect your cameras and the problem, problem I have now is it's so long since we last used this software we're no longer in touch with the company and I do not remember the e email address and the password settings we used on the account that we had on their website and I have sent an email to them inquiring as to whether they can let me into it but they've ignored it so far and it's been several well about five or six days now so I don't hold much hopes for ever getting it to be able to use the full nine cameras so I am selling it as a three camera administration software um, Monitor manager. That's just a small uh, hot spot. So you can get it to zoom in on particular areas of interest. We'll close down the administration bit and have a look at the monitor itself. Connecting, yeah, that's me. That's my arm. <laughs> um, only two cameras connected, I guess. If we had more than four, we'd have to, there could be six up to nine windows if you had all nine cameras connected. Um, 
administrator seen that manual mode stop start all stop all PTZ menu pan tilt zoom if you've got those sorts of cameras viewer aha that's the bit where you actually view the video logs from your cameras and you can this is a sort of a time graph you can fast forward, I haven't actually recorded anything with these cameras I've not really set it up, all I've done is load it up to run on my Windows 7 machine it was actually designed to run on Windows XP and we had it running on Windows Server 2003 but it seems to install without any fuss at all on Windows 7 although I ha as I say I haven't test it, tested it extensively but I was quite surprised to find that it w it didn't fuss at all about Windows 7. Um, various settings. Don't know what most of them do. I think those are taking snapshots. That's probably to do like a time yeah a time graph event times times when something actually happened. Uh, information alarms. You can tell it. You can set set it to send various alarms, either audio alarms or email alarms at certain events. And there you go. It's going to be up for sale on eBay, and would go very nicely with the three cameras I'm actually selling that we had it connected to in the first place. Please ask any questions before the end of the auction. It's a very powerful piece of software. You may know more about it than I do, because I say we had it run in a very basic manner. A very expensive piece of software as well. Thanks for looking. Goodbye.